we're here. First inbox from the new office. Let's get down to business. Question from Jack. Been for a new laptop for a while now, partly for doing university work and partly to game on. I have a budget of about 550 euro and I've come across two laptops that have taken my eye. Both Acer, both refurbished. And I wanted your opinion. Now you know in that price range, um, and, the, and if you want to play some games, I would recommend staying away from the NVIDIA uh, model GPUs and going with the Radeon. The Radeon, for some reason, and the laptops, they're a lot faster. I found the Lenovo. Take, take a look at this, just pop it into Google. Uh, Try the Y560P. Now the Y560P has a Core i7, which is going to be even faster when you're doing your work. And it also has a uh, Radeon 6570, 6570M, pardon me. So go for that one. Good question, Jack. Okay, the next question is from Alex. Um, got a ton of questions here. I'm going to let Kane answer some of these questions in the second video. So you watch the second video or I'll cut off your fingers. Let's see, I'll put this question on the screen. The screen. I'm going to put the question on the screen for you. Essentially, you're trying to, I guess, figure out if the 9800 GX2 uh, will work at full speed. Uh, in your Intel motherboard that only supports Crossfire? Uh, the answer is yes, because it is a single slot solution. Uh, the 9800GX2 is going to run just as fast in that machine as it would in a Crossfire machine, as it would in any other machine. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pretty much run at uh, full capacity, because even though it's dual GPU card, it's a single slot solution, so there's no real, I guess, uh, I mean, I guess it is uh, SLI technology, but that's taken care of on the card, not on the motherboard. That makes sense? Makes sense, Kane? It's a dual GPU card? It's a dual GPU card. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's all yeah, built in. The drivers take care of that, and it all happens on the uh, GPU, not on the uh, motherboard. Like, you know, SL, real SLI would be two cards, and the motherboard needs, is what needs the technology to make the two cards communicate. Since two cards are on one, P, you know, on one, well, they're either on one PCB, they're two PCBs on the same uh, PCI. Oh, yeah, it's, it's in the same slot, so it's all, yeah. it's all, it's all working good. inside the same All good in the hood. Card, yeah. um, Kane will answer the rest of your questions. Um, well, I'll answer the one about the uh, lossless codecs. This is an interesting question. He said, what's the best format to encode? Audio, MP3, uh, for audio, MP3, AAC, ACC, uh, AIFF, lossless, wave. Uh, which one gives you the best sound because I can't tell? Um, well, if you really, really want sound, go for uh, FLAC. No, it's free lossless audio codec. Yes, FLAC, FLAC. So, give yourself some FLAC. Now, the nice thing about FLAC is that it sounds just as good as a WAV file, but it's about half the size. So, most songs are going to be between 40 and 50 megabytes as a WAV, so it'll be about 25 megabytes as, as a FLAC file. Now, if that's too big for you, uh, go with an ACC file, because ACC files are higher quality than MP3 files. They have uh, more fidelity in the, uh, I guess, the higher frequencies, like the cymbals and things like that are going to be cleaner. Instead of splashy, they're going to be nice and crisp. And those are also widely used on all the MP3 players. If you start getting into some uh, stranger audio formats, like I wish uh, Vorbis was used in, by a lot of players, like you know iPods and that sort of thing, but it's not, so can't really recommend it. Vorbis. 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 Og, Og Vorbis. Og. Og. Vorbis. Og. It's, it's fun to say. All right. Um, interesting question here from Taylor. What are your views on miracle metal marijuana? The evidence is overwhelming that marijuana can relieve certain types of pain, nausea, vomiting, yada, yada, yada. Those questions on the screen, I don't feel like reading it all. Indeed, marijuana is, is less toxic than many of the drugs that physicians prescribe every day. Do you think medical marijuana should be legalized in every state? If not, why not? Well, I know you've been smoking some doobies. Uh, I guess some of our members do smoke doobies, don't they? I would assume that uh, there's a possible chance that yes. You just want me to condone your activity. I think that's what it sounds like, yeah. Yeah. Dude, smoke. Freaking smoke weed. Take marijuana and stick it in your ears. I love it. It's wonderful. I do not smoke it, but if you guys want to smoke it, then you guys should be able to smoke it, and it should be, le it should be legal because a lot of the junk that, just like you said here, a lot of the junk that physicians prescribe makes you bleed out your penis, makes your eyes fall out of your head. Some of the side effects from some of these commercials where you got a guy running down the beach... He's running down the, oh, there's a dog, and the dog jumps and throws the frisbee, and the dog catches the frisbee while some guy is going, side effects may be your penis bleeding, your eyes falling off, your ears exploding, your nose running until you, your brains come out, or death. And then they talk about enrich your life with a new prophylosic MD. Yeah, so 
If that stuff is legal, you guys can have your hard drugs, just keep them out of my face. Or I might punch you in your neck area here. <coughs> Snap dead. Don't try this at home. One from Nomad. Logan, it's awesome to see you rocking after two years, and you're a lucky man for having a guy like Master Kane at your side. Uh, wow, weird as it sounds, people like you two are very few. Hmm. Thank make you. Feel. Yeah. Uh, I think I just, yeah, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Not really. All right, the thing is, I wanted the WSAD shirt of yours. It just says everything, and I was wondering, would you ship to the dark side of the moon? A pair, oh, oh a pair of uh, Kane's night vision goggles, too. So I guess you don't live in one of the areas that uh, our store ships to. I, I apologize. If you want it, I don't care where you are, if it's on the moon or whatever. If you're paying the shipping, you email me, inbox at raisetheworld.com. Kane, or I, or somebody else with a nice hairdo will ship you whatever shirt you want. I promise to Jesus, Allah, and who else? Buddha, and other religious deity type characters. Okay. Horus. Uh, what? Horus. Horus. Yes, Horus. Okay, so his question is, I'm currently running, running low on storage. I have a 300 gigabyte Velociraptor and I can't decide what to do. Whether to get another Velociraptor, maybe one of them damned SSDs. I really need more space, but I also need speed. What's cheaper too? All right, why don't you get one of the new, um, one of the new Samsung drives? are nice and, and, and quick. They're not going to be as fast as the um, Velociraptor, but if you need storage, then you should really get like a, you know a two terabyte storage drive, and then use the Velociraptor for speed. I mean, that, that's really the way to go. There's, I don't know why you would want to put like your your movie files. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Um, your movie files and stuff, just put them on the 2 terabyte drive. You're never, ever, ever going to utilize the speed of a Velociraptor if you're watching a, a video, listening to an MP3, or, well, it might help if you're bringing up some pictures to jerk off to or something, maybe. Depends on how big the pictures are, but not really. Uh, no, not really. I mean, they're about the same speed on a... Yeah. Just agree with me. Everyone out there, let's do this together. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Um... Spend nearly all my money on restoring car in, car my car's engine, and I think I won't be sleeping indoors next month. Well, then save some money and get a two terabyte drive. Like I said, Samsung makes a hell of a drive, and uh, there's some others out there. But the new Western Digital is not that bad either. This one's from Jordan. Any thoughts on 22 nanometer architecture Ivy Bridge? Allegedly, half the power consumed and 20% better than Sandy Bridge. These damn bridges. What's up with these bridges, dude? Bridges? I don't know. Sandy Bridge. Oh, Sandy Bridge. Bridge sounds like something that's on a beach, and Ivy Bridge sounds like a, something what, a jungle. Yeah. And the new NVIDIA Calibre GPU is supposed to be three to four times performance for what coming out late 2011. You know, all my thoughts on anything that I don't have my hands on, if I don't have my hands on it, it doesn't matter. If, if it's a... if it's a stat, or, or maybe like, you know, like NVIDIA says it's three to four times performance per watt, Intel says it's the 20% better than Sandy Bridge. It doesn't matter what they say until they put it in the hands of a reviewer like me, Intel, NVIDIA, send me this stuff. Yes. Yes, send it to me. Um, it, who knows how, how good it's going to be until somebody like me tries it out and tests it against a Sandy Bridge or tests, you know, test it against the latest NVIDIA technology. Don't believe no one from Hot Killer. I was wondering if I could launch an official server for Raise the World and Brink. I wanted to get your permission before doing it. I think the game will be amazing and bring back a much needed aspect of FPS. What's your take on this game? And if you will allow me to launch a Brink server, can you announce it in a video as to get the word out? We're going to have a Brink server and Hop Killer is going to, going to host it. I've announced it. We'll make a like a, we'll make a big to-do about it, dude. We'll like blow up balloons and have a clown somewhere that we can like hit with baseball bats. And, I want RTW to be one of the most popular Brink servers that everyone wants to play on because we are just that damn awesome. Yes, we are. Our, our kids are uh, freaking insanely cool. I mean, they're not the kind who camp, they're not the kind who cheat and use hacks. So it'll be a really awesome server. Let's work together on this. We'll get it like brink.raisetheworld.com. We can do that, right, King? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do like brink.raisetheworld.com. We'll link it over to your server, and we will have a Brink server. And Brink is actually... Um, I'm looking forward to this game almost as much as I'm looking forward to Deus Ex 3. Not quite as much as I'm looking forward to Skyrim. Mm -hmm. This game looks freaking amazing. It looks like one of the best FPS, what probably will be the best FPS of the year. So, um, I'm sorry, that's all the time we have today.